Welcome to the Plie Programming in 5 Minutes or Less tutorial. This short video will walk you through how to quickly and efficiently program the Plie based on this new programming method, Plie Programming in 5 Minutes or Less. Once you have your prosthesis aligned with the bisected socket at ischial level following through the knee center or up to 5 millimeters anterior to the knee center, we're ready to begin programming. Throughout the fitting process, please refer to the plie 5 minutes or less reference guide which will help guide you along the way if needed. Once properly aligned, open the plie control software and make sure the Bluetooth is turned on in the knee by removing and reinserting the battery. Once you close the lid, three green flashing lights will appear in the posterior of the knee, indicating that the Bluetooth is on and will stay on for 5 minutes, allowing you to connect. Once connected, it will remain connected until you disconnect or go outside of Bluetooth range. Some laptops have internal Bluetooth devices that can connect to the knee on their own. However, if your laptop does not or has trouble connecting, use the provided USB Bluetooth adapter that came with your knee. Click search. You will see the flashlight searching for Bluetooth devices in range. Once the serial number appears, click connect. Once connected, you'll see these two additional windows, one to the left and one to the right, as well as these two red lights have now turned to green, indicating that you're connected to the knee. When you receive a knee from the factory, the moderate K3 settings shown on the reference guide will be preloaded into the knee. Next, check for calibration. Determine if the knee sensors are properly calibrated. Click on the Calibrate button in the window to the right. Instructions to check for calibration are found here. It says please check the live data window and have the patient stand with the knee fully extended and unweighted. What you're looking at is these two values here, the torque and the angle. If the torque value is between negative 30 and positive 30, and the angle is between 0 and negative 2.2, calibration is not required. It appears that this knee is in proper calibration. If calibration is required, click Calibrate then follow the instructions on the screen. Ask the patient to stand with the knee fully extended and unweighted as shown here. Once in this position, click OK. Then ask the patient to bounce several times on the toe and then click OK again. Confirm that the calibration was done properly. Ask the patient again to unload the prosthesis, keeping the knee fully extended, and then check over here at the live data at the torque and angle sensor values. Again, the torque value should be between negative 30 and positive 30, and the angle should be between 0 and negative 2.2. Next, load the proper settings into the knee based on your patient's activity level. Again, these values can be found on the reference guide. These settings establish thresholds for swing release and stumble recovery parameters for proper knee function for your patient. You can do this in one of two ways. First, you can manually enter the settings into each parameter by clicking More Params, then entering the value associated with the proper setting. Don't forget to click the second tab and enter the values there as well. And finally, enter your toe threshold and swing transition values. The light changing from red back to green indicates it has been saved into the knee. The second way is to simply load the settings from a previously saved file. Click File, Load Knee Settings, and choose the file that you'd like to select. I'm going to choose High K3 Settings. The TT and ST numbers have changed, indicating the file was successfully transferred. Next, you need to customize the swing release of the plie for your patient. Click on the TT and ST and ask the patient to start walking. As he or she walks, it will start collecting good steps and start to fill the box. Ideally, you'd like to collect at least five steps of each pace to allow the knee to calculate the best values. If limited in the number of steps for a new ambulator, you can stop after a minimum of five steps are collected and the TT and ST values have been calculated. If the patient has difficulty getting the knee to release and to count steps, try doing some quick gait training. 
ask the patient to step forward with the sound limb, making sure that the toes of the prosthetic foot are loaded. The knee is looking for a load, then unload motion to release. Ask the patient to load the toe and then kick forward, or squash the bug, kick the ball, to understand the motion of loading, unloading, and rotating forward. If still not releasing, try gradually lowering the TT value until the knee releases to start counting steps. Next, click Manual to lock on these values and adjust the manual adjustments as needed. Follow instructions on the screen for stance flexion, swing flexion, and swing extension, and refer to the reference guide for recommended values and how to adjust if needed. Finally, verify that these settings are appropriate for the user by asking him or her to walk slow, normal, and fast. The knee should release on every step. If the patient is capable, ask him or her to walk in a slow, small, figure eight pattern and walk backwards. While walking the figure of eight, the knee should release on every step and not lock up unwantedly. If the knee does not release, gradually lower the TT and try again. If it releases and then locks, refer to the reference guide for which settings to adjust. When walking backwards, the knee should not release at all. If it does start to release on any steps, again refer to the reference guide to make the necessary adjustments. You are now able to successfully program the plie 3 in 5 minutes or less. If you have questions or need additional support, refer to our reference guide or if needed, call customer service or your local sales rep.